Okay, so let's start talking about 14 steps on how to become successful in life. And the first step is become a person who owns his own life. So become a person who owns his own life. How do you understand this phrase? Please share your comments, your thoughts and comments section. What it means for you to become a person who owns his own life? A person who owns his own life is a person who has his own opinion, his own desires, his own goals. A person who is responsible for meeting his own needs and solving his own problems. So if you would like to be successful in life, if you want to have success, it can be financial success, it can be a uh, happy, healthy relationship in your life. Uh, it may be status, social status. So if you would like to be successful, then stop trying to fulfill others, other people's expectations, other people's desires and put yourself as a priority. Uh, do not be selfish, but rather be responsible for meeting your own needs first and then others. So step number two is do not enable yourself do not enable yourself so before giving up or asking for help ask yourself think about what you can do to help yourself in the respective situation if you need help do not wait for it just ask for it and do not avoid conflicts instead be open to discuss any problems that you have and look for the solution so step number two, do not enable yourself. Find the solution and be open to discuss any problems. Step number three, do not take other people's responsibilities. And step number four, stop helping others when they are not asking for it. Let's talk a little bit about those steps. So step number three is do not take other people's responsibilities. You should learn and start saying things like, I'm sorry, but it is not my responsibility. Unfortunately, I cannot help you in this situation. Unfortunately, I am not the right person to help you in this situation. With all due respect, I have a different opinion on this situation. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with you. I cannot help you with this. So do not take other people's responsibility and be polite. Be able to say no with respect towards other people. Number four is stop helping others when they are not asking for it. The most important element in this step is when they are not asking for it. So when you want to help others, this is a hidden desire to control other person or to control the situation. This is also a hidden desire to avoid your own life, to avoid your own responsibility in life. And this is also a sign of a good boy, good girl syndrome. A desire to make other person happy, a desire to help other person, a desire to fulfill other people's expectations. A desire to be a nice person, desire to prove others that I am good, I am worthy. This is actually a childhood desire to earn mother's or father's love, to earn mother's or father's attention. And when we um, were children, uh, for us it was our defensive mechanism. But right now we are not children, we are adults. And desire to be good, desire to help others, often are not going to bring us to success. Often we're going to focus too much on other people's life and we will forget about our own life. So if you want to help others, this is great, but do not force it. Just offer your help. And if people say no, it means no. For example, you can say something like this. Sounds like you are having troubles. If you need my help, please let me know. 
If you need my help, I am here. If you need my help, just call me, but do not force it. This is the secret of success. Let's move to the next step. Step number five is always finish your thoughts. And this is also a very, very important uh, step. Always finish your thoughts. So when it comes to emotions, remember to finish your thoughts. For example, uh, if you're angry, don't just say, I am angry. Say, I'm angry because I'm angry because I'm tired. I'm angry because I'm late. I'm angry because I did not sleep enough yesterday. Uh, or for example, I don't feel well because I had too much alcohol yesterday. Or I don't feel well because I have a headache. Mm, I feel great because uh, my kid won a Kids uh, of the Month award or I feel great because I had a great weekend. So always finish your thoughts. This will help you to connect with your own feelings. This will help you to understand yourself better. And this will help you to understand other people better. Because once you will connect your emotions and your thoughts, uh, the life you're gonna look at life on from a different angle you will be able to understand yourself your own emotions your own actions better and other people and then you can create healthy relationship healthy boundaries in your life then you can have meaningful relationship in your life because you will know why people person did something how uh, he came to this decision once you're going to connect with your own emotions and connect your thoughts, your brain with your heart, basically, then it's going to be easier for you. And of course, of course, you don't have to explain yourself all the time. That's why I said always finish your thoughts, not your sentences. So thoughts, uh, you are an adult. It's your decision if you want to share your thoughts with other people or not. These are your own thoughts and you all and your you only you can decide if you should speak them out loud or not. Let's uh, let's move on to the next step. Step number seven. Learn from your own mistakes. 